What's up guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to fix packet loss while playing Fortnite on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. This guide will be demonstrated on the Windows 10 operating system, but should also work on any other Windows OS. Before doing any tweaks to your OS, we will have a look at your network connection. First of all, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. This black window will open up and here type or copy these next commands from the description below. ipconfig slash flush DNS. This command will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. If you've never used this command on your system before, then you might already notice major latency and packet loss improvement. Next, use the command ping google.com. This command will ping Google's closest server four times and show you information about your minimum maximum and average latency, as well as your packet loss. In my case, there is 0% loss, meaning that all of the sent packages have been received by Google. In order to further test your connection, I suggest you to use the command ping googlecom t This will constantly send and receive packets for a more elaborate test. As you can see, the commands will show you information about your latency. A normal ping range for a good working hardwired connection should be around 20 to 40 milliseconds. If you are using a Wi-Fi connection, then these values should range from 30 to 70. If your ping range is exceeding 150, then you will more than likely have packet loss while using the network connection. Now that you know how good or bad your connection is, we will make a few changes to your OS in order to improve your latency and reduce packet loss. First of all, Make sure that you are using a reliable connection, which is not crowded with other devices. I also suggest you to restart your router if you haven't done this in a while and then, if you can, use a hardwired connection to your router. If that's not possible, then try to at least get closer to your router. On speedtest.net you will also be able to see your download and upload speed. If this is far below your ISP plan, then there is something wrong with your hardware or router. To resolve this, Open up your task manager and navigate to the resource monitor as you can see in the video. On this window, go to the network tab and open the processes with network activity. Here, you will be able to preview all of the processes using your network connection. That might be Steam, your browser running in the background or a download clogging your bandwidth. I suggest you to only enter processes which you know won't break your operating system. The Network Activity tab shows you information about your network, such as the network utilization in percent produced by your system. That's why reducing the amount of devices on the same network can have tremendous impact on your connection. Next, search for percentage temp percentage. This folder contains all of your temporary files, which are saved by your programs and should be deleted. Deleting these files and emptying your recycle bin afterwards can induce a major performance improvement for your CPU and network connection. If these tweaks did not help, then the issue might be server-sided. To verify this, go to this website. A link will be in the description below. Here, you can see if there are reports about the Fortnite servers and on the live outage map where these reports are coming from. And as always, make sure that your operating system and drivers are up to date in order to get the most out of your system. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.